As we enter the summer, the silly season pot has started to boil. At the last race in mid-Ohio, news came out that David Malukas, Dale Coyne's number one driver and current hot prospect in the IndyCar paddock, would not be returning to the team in 2024. With this news came a swirl of speculation online about where he could go, but most people have neglected to mention the other side of this. Dale Coyne Racing, I fear, is in serious trouble. So in this video, I want to go over the situation unfolding at Dale Coyne Racing, because it's not a bed of roses. So let's get this out of the way first. Dale Coyne Racing has had a pretty bad year so far. Rookie Stingray Rob is in the midst of one of the worst rookie seasons we've seen in a long time. He leads the series in DNFs, sits last of all full-time runners in the championship standings, and has yet to score a top 15 finish. Things at the 18 car aren't much better, as Malukas has had a bad year too. Sure he did finish 4th at Texas and has two more top 10s to boot, but a stretch of 4 DNFs in a row earlier this year means he currently sits 19th in the points leaving mid-Ohio. Entering the year, I said that David Malukas could possibly win a race this season, and while that is still possible, I'm a lot less confident in that prediction. The news of Malukas' departure from the team is understandable considering the results so far this year, but it sends Dale Coyne into a bit of a frenzy. With Malukas' departure from the team, it also means that his dad's HMD trucking company will leave as well. That leaves a whole season worth of sponsorship left to be filled for that car to compete next year, which is not going to be an easy fix. Matters aren't helped by swirling speculation of Stingray Rob's future of the team, along with the fuzziness surrounding Rick Ware Racing's dedication to the number 51 car. Malukas leaving the team is a big blow, and it exemplifies the issues that have rocked coin throughout the team's existence. Instability in the team has always been an issue, from the drivers in the cars to the mechanics working on them. The team is simply used as a stepping stone, and that's what David Malukas and HMD look to use Dale Coyne Racing as. But getting back to the point, the number 18 car will be vacant next year. The question is, who will they get to drive for the team? When thinking of what Dale Coyne needs in a driver, it's money and experience, one of which is obviously much more important than the other. When looking at drivers with a lot of money behind them, it reminds me of going to Bed Bath & Beyond about two weeks ago limited options of not a lot that you'd really want. F1 reject Nicholas Latifi could be in the discussion, as he has oodles of money behind him, but he would be an unknown quantity of a rookie, and talked about as a butt of a joke before the season even started. Maybe you could look at some paid drivers in Indy NXT. Matteo Nanini has money and a win so far this season, but so far that's his only top 10, with his results being about as consistent as expired mayonnaise, and him showing a bratty personality at times. If Dale Coyne had to choose from the Indy NXT field, I'd say their best shot would be Daniel Frost. With two wins in the series and money behind him, he should definitely be a candidate for that drive. Maybe you could look at bringing in Stefan Wilson and Cusick Motorsports, bringing them into the fold on at least a part-time basis. The team should also look for experience, a venerated driver on the market that's looking to get into IndyCar again, and preferably a driver that's been with the team in the past. What about Sebastian Bourdais? The man can still wheel a race car pretty damn good, and I think he'd be a great addition to the team. Or what about Connor Daly? At least Daly could work wonders on their Indy 500 program. There are definitely options available, but this also depends on Rick Ware Racing staying committed to IndyCar. Are. Having an experienced driver in a fully funded car with a young driver in another is a good matchup. If it were me, I would say having Daniel Frost in the 18 car with Connor Daly in the 51 car would be a great lineup for Dale Coyne. This is really the start of the silly season drama for 2023, and from the championship leader that could be departing for Formula 1 at season's end, to a four-time Indy 500 winner possibly being forced into retirement, you better grab a bottle of water this summer, because things are about to get salty. If you're looking for silly season updates, this is a place to be, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you all for watching, and have a great afternoon.